Hey, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a tour of my office, bedroom, studio space, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to be going through my entire desk setup and explain to you about kind of some of the props and stuff that you see in the background of my videos. So let's get into it and let's have a look around. Okay, so we're gonna leave the desk set up till last and we're gonna have a look at the rest of the room first. Don't worry, it won't take very long. This space is pretty small. Okay, so when it comes to the wall colors in this room, we've got three uh, off-white walls, which kind of have a tint of blue in them, but they are pretty much white. Uh, and then we have this accent wall, which is obviously a much darker blue. Um, it's a really nice color. I really do like it. And uh, it acts as a really nice backdrop for my videos as well. This is the wall that you'll see for most of the backdrops of my videos. Um, it's got a bunch of different things that kind of relate to me in some way, so let's quickly run through them all. Firstly, I've got my drone up here. Uh, it's just an easy place to store it uh, rather than in my camera bag when it's not always needed. This is the DJI Mini 2. Uh, I have made a video about it on my channel, so if you want to check it out, I'll link it um, up here or up here, wherever it is. I've then got this little clipper board thing, which is just for decoration and a bunch of little cars. I got these little cars when I was a kid. Uh, I think they were like a present from maybe when I was born or something, or like a little toy I had. It's quite nice because it fits in, because uh, as I've grown up, I've got really into my motorsport and my cars. I've got a couple of other kind of collector cars. I've got like a Ferrari Formula One car here and like a smaller version as well. Uh, and then I've got this canvas, which I think I painted during lockdown. Um, it's kind of one of those creative projects that we did because we were bored and there was nothing else to do. And I quite liked it. I tried to paint it in kind of similar colours to the room. Okay, then also on this wall, I've got a bunch of my old cameras and my PS4 remotes, but we'll get to that later. Um, I've got my first ever camera. This is a point and shoot Samsung camera. It's just there. Um, I think the screen is kind of half broken. It doesn't really work anymore, but it's there for decoration. It's quite nice to keep. Uh, I've got this film camera, which um, I was given by my granddad. It is such a cool camera and I've been taking some film shots on it. This is one of my mum's old film cameras as well. Um, that's just there for decorative purposes at the moment. But then up above we've got a few of my trophies uh, from a bunch of sports that I played as a kid. Just kind of a nice way to show them off and keep them up there uh, rather than like a cardboard box in the garage or something. <laughs> okay then further down on this blue wall we've got this kind of new addition to the room um, which is kind of my inspiration wall. I really wanted a place where I could kind of just put up things that inspire me. Uh, as you can see, it is a very new edition, so I actually haven't had time to put anything on it yet. Anything that I find that maybe I can print off or I find laying around in magazines and stuff like that, that inspires me and kind of gets me to be creative. I want to put up on this wall so that I'm almost seeing it every day. Yeah, we'll see how this develops um, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll post some photos on my Instagram or stories or something like that um, to see the progress of that. Flipping to the other side, I've got my bed down here, uh, and then on this wall I've got this amazing canvas which is kind of hand painted. It's not actually painted on that canvas, it's a photo of the painting, but of Max Verstappen who is my favourite Formula 1 driver. I won't go into the whole Formula 1 thing because people get quite ratty about it at the moment. Then here we've got a track map of uh, Spa Francorchamps, which is one of my favourite racetracks. I really would like to get some more of these. My friend got this for me and I absolutely love it. Um, it's quite a cool little accessory. I think I'm gonna get tons of different tracks and put them on a wall somewhere, either in my room or in my future office. Okay, then below those decorations, I've obviously got my bed. This is just where I sleep. Um, it's a single bed and uh, it's got a nice memory foam mattress, which helps me sleep well. Uh, I've got a few pillows on here, which are just kind of aesthetic. These ones are green because uh, believe it or not, this room actually used to be, well, it had one wall which was bright green. It's not something I'm particularly proud of. I don't know what was going through my head at the time. Um, I was obviously a lot younger. Um, and yeah, it was kind of a very bold move. It kind of looked cool for about two months and then I kind of got a bit, <laughs> got a bit sick of it. Okay, so now onto the main part of the tour, which is obviously this desk setup. Uh, first of all, this is kind of a temporary setup for the time being um, because the plan is that we'll be moving soon and I'll have a a dedicated space to kind of my studio which will be where I film all my videos um, but it is predicted that we'll need quite a lot of renovation in there which is something I'm excited to take you on the process of um, so this desk is actually a lot smaller than the one I planned to get 
but the rest of it is pretty much gonna stay with me. The desk, however, is from Ikea, um, and like I said, it was a temporary desk, so we didn't wanna spend tons of money on it, but it does its job. Um, it's got a quite a cheap tabletop, but it's got this wood color, which I think looks quite nice. Okay, then on this near side, we've got a little place where I keep my wallet, um, and then this little plant, which is quite nice. Uh, it just helps keep a little bit of greenery in the room. And then I've got this wireless charger, which I actually wouldn't recommend because it's not that great. Um, it's a bit inconsistent with its charging, but um, you just whack your phone on there, your Apple Watch and your AirPods, and that can all charge up overnight, which is pretty good. It's not very fast, but um, you know it does its job. Then the main piece of the setup is obviously this big display. This is an HP display. I'll put the exact name of it on the screen. But um, yeah, it's an awesome 4K display with brilliant colors. Um, it's got this kind of matte finish on the front, which I really like. It kind of helps reduce a bit of glare. Um, and yeah, it's a great display. Um, it's massively helped me when it comes to just being able to do more at once. Um, and just being able to see kind of my photos and my videos bigger is really nice. It makes a massive difference from just kind of editing on a laptop. I've never had the chance to have an external display. It's definitely something I would recommend uh, if you have the space and money. It sat on top of this little desk uh, organizer thing. Um, this is great because it just allows me to raise the monitor a little bit. And also I just keep a bunch of kind of random accessories in there. I've got a little slot for my SD cards, uh, wires and other bits and bobs. The plant, the desk and the stand are all from Ikea. Um, and I'll leave all the links to all the products in this video down in the description below uh, in case you want to check any of them out. Okay, so under this raised mount, we've got a spot for the PS4, which is great. It just slips under there. Um, it's probably not the best for heat efficiency or anything like that, but I don't actually use it too much. Um, but, you know, it's there. It's easy access when I want it. Um, I've got all my games here on the side. Um, I've just got mainly racing games. That's kind of what I'm into. I can attach my G29, Logitech G21 wheel, and the pedals go on the floor and I can do a bit of racing on the sim, which I really like. Um, it's obviously one of my biggest passions. Um, and yeah, it's a good little setup to be able to do that. Okay, and then in terms of peripherals, we've got the Logitech uh, MX Master 3. This is the Mac edition. This is such a nice mouse. Uh, I absolutely love it. The scroll wheel is awesome. Um, it's really comfortable. I've got pretty large hands uh, and it's just, yeah, super comfortable mouse to use um, and makes working on it like a breeze. Um, definitely a mouse I would recommend. I know pretty much everyone has recommended this mouse at this point, um, but it's got a great battery life and uh, yeah, it's really responsive. It's always working. I've never literally had a problem with it at all. Uh, we've got the uh, Magic Keyboard here. Um, this is a really nice keyboard. It's nice and slim, low profile, and can fit underneath the kind of uh, monitor mount if I need it to, uh, if I need it to get it out of the way. Um, and yeah, it's a great little keyboard. I don't really have any problems with it. It just kind of does the job. Then further along, I would like to keep my iPad on the desk. This is the iPad mini. I made a whole video about this, which it seems that many of you really enjoyed. Um, the iPad mini is just great. Um, I won't go into too much detail because I did make a full video about it, but that lives on the desk as well. And then obviously this whole thing is powered by the Apple MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the 2020 edition. It's kind of base spec 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is something I'm looking to upgrade into the future, um, but at the moment it's doing the job that I need it to. It does struggle a little bit with the 4K footage out of the A7 Mark IV, but uh, it does the job for now. This monitor doesn't have any external speakers, um, so I do tend to use headphones. I tend to use these Samsung headphones, they've just been kind of sat around in my house for ages. I really should get a better pair because um, they're not the best um, and they do kind of become a bit uncomfortable over a period of time. Uh, but they were just, they've just been in my house for ages. I actually think they're my brothers, um, but I tend to use them a lot for my audio if I'm not using my AirPods because sometimes they can be a bit delayed uh, in terms of the kind of transmission. But yeah, I just plug these into the back of my MacBook uh, and they live on a little stand down there. I would like to get a pair of nice speakers for the setup, but at the moment I just don't have enough space, so I'm just sticking to the headphones for now. Um, I will get another set of speakers uh, in the future so that I can listen to my nice audio out loud. This Sonos lives on here, it's just white, it kind of blends into the wall, which is quite nice. It doesn't kind of intrude too much in my space, um, but it is great. I absolutely love Sonos, you just control it from the app on your phone, um, and they do a really good job. It sounds really nice. Um, and considering it's only one speaker, this room isn't that big, so it's more than enough. Um, but yeah, it sounds great, and I can access all my music, um, and that's kind of how I play my music in my room. 
Okay, and that is pretty much it for the set. Oh, one more thing. I also do have a wardrobe where I keep all my clothes, but I didn't think that would be that interesting to show on the video. So uh, that lives over there in that corner. But other than that, that's pretty much everything for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of my setup. It's obviously a very compact and small setup, but um, it really works well for me. I'm really happy with um, all it's done for me and, and how it looks. Um, and I can't wait to kind of explore it further when I move into a new space. But for now, in 2022, this is my setup. This is how I get all my work done. Um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it so that you never miss one of my videos. They come out every Monday um, and we're doing well for this year. One video every single Monday to the end of the year. I think this is video four and we're still going strong. So it's a good sign for things to come. Uh, yeah, so make sure you hit that subscribe button for future uploads and I'll see you next week.